I'm on my way right now to do a double marketplace lot. Um, the first one that I was getting was a new 3DS XL, the Galaxy Edition, so that's pretty cool. That has like a bunch of Pokemon and Zelda games, just a bunch of good games. I'm getting that for 200 and it apparently works, so we'll see. Um, and then the best deal is definitely, there was a garage sale that had a Sega Nomad with a bunch of good games, and they were, um, it said today, but I messaged them and said, hey, is, are you still the Nomad? And they're like, yeah, we want a hundred bucks. I'm like, oh, okay, I'll come get it then. <laughs> so uh, we're on our way to get that. It has the system and Sunset Riders and Sonic games, a bunch of good games. So um, anyway, I'll be there shortly to pick these up and we'll see how they are. All right, just made it home. And as you can see, we got, got the stuff. So um, let's see, I um, the 3DS stuff looks pretty good. It's obviously reprinted cover art, but it's in there. Got Animal Crossing, New Leaf, and Wild Woods. I believe this was complete, yep. Um, so the 3DS lot, again, was $200. Um, and then there's a new 3DS XL which is in pretty good shape. Um, it does power up and the buttons feel good. I haven't like actually tried them properly, but it looks very promising. Seem like nice people. Um, it's definitely got some scratches, but overall not in bad shape at all. So definitely happy with that. Um, we got Smash 3DS, Omega Ruby, again, reprint cover art, which is a shame, but it is what it is. Um, Ocarina of Time 3D. Nice. Um, Pokemon Sun. And there was some loose carts. There's the stylus there. Charger, the AR cards. Let's see. So we got the AR cards. Third party charger. It's better than nothing. Um, and it, as for the games, um, the loose games at least, we have some Nintendo dogs here. And these go for around 20 25 a piece all day long so that's definitely a great one to look out for when i saw those i was knew they had some value i didn't think they'd be that much though um mario 2 and finally pokemon moon so for 200 bucks that should be an easy double up and some very good inventory to sell so very good there and then here's the <laughs> the nomad this is definitely a sketchier uh, situation here in terms of the where was that and everything, but we got it, and it's in this beautiful, <laughs> beautiful case, you know some kid back in the day had their Nomad and all their games in here, They've traveled around, so it's kind of funny, but yeah, so the Nomad, unfortunately, as you can see, it says work, so we're going to see about that, so obviously very rough, and I don't know what is going on here, I'm on the way back, I was looking at this, it's like coming apart but it has all the screws what i think happened is my is my theory i guess someone put something really heavy on this cartridge port and that kind of just i don't know made this area lift up or something's expanding on the inside i'm not really sure i'm gonna have to open this up and hopefully try to reseat the case properly um for parts these normally go for around two like 30 you know well over 200 um, you know, in this condition, maybe I will only be able to get 200 for parts. I'm not expecting this to work by any means, but we're going to see. He said it works. It, but although he, when I opened the door, he's like, um, he's like, I hope you have a power cord for it. And I'm like, yeah, I do. So it's like, yeah, like, you know, he wasn't a video game guy. So that's like, yeah, he didn't test it, but that's fine. Um, we got James Pond too. Um, we got Game Genie, which that's good. It's like 25 bucks. Um, Shoot to Rage 2, Sonic 3. Another good one there. Miss Pac-Man. So there's some commons mixed in, but definitely some good ones as well. Mickey Mania, Eternal Champions, um, Sonic and Knuckles. Um, this is the World of Illusion Revolution X. And the best game of the lot is Sunset Riders. I don't think I have this on the Genesis, so I'll probably hold on to that. I have it on the Super Nintendo for sure. It's a great game. Road Rash 2. We did get some 32X games as well. Got Afterburner, which that's definitely the best game there. This might actually be, the, they're, they're probably about tied for value, about 40, 50 bucks a piece. Uh, Motocross is a cheap one, and Virtual Racing. Um, and as well, we got Hard Driving and Sonic Spinball. 
So obviously for a hundred bucks, I mean, you can't go wrong. I mean, even in the shape this is in, I mean, there's still hundreds of dollars in games and this, a Nomad, which even if it's destroyed, it's still a Nomad. So I'm going to get a power supply and we're going to see if this thing does anything at all. Um, I'm suspecting bad capacitors, but we'll see. All right, I got a power cord and I'm going to plug it in. And I'm assuming that left would be the off position. Let's see if it does anything. Let's just see if it turns on first. Okay, it does turn on. So that's good. One thing I will recommend when you buy systems, especially ones that are all beat up like this, don't put an expensive game. Don't put Sunset Riders in right away. Like, put hard driving in. Just in case. You never know what could happen. Probably nothing, but just in case it could damage the cart. So, let's see. Turn the volume up. Just the contrast. May need to be... I didn't clean any of this stuff yet, obviously. As you can see it's making an adjustment there. And no luck though in terms of it actually playing. So, let's go on the pins. Nothing yet. I'm going to clean the pins with alcohol and come back. There we go. I cleaned the pins. We're getting a picture. We're getting sound. You can see that game is very dirty. <laughs> but look at that. Start. So that's crazy. I'm not too familiar with this game. I know it's a terrible 3D racing game, but wow. Like, it, it's actually, it's. I mean, I'm going to have to test everything, obviously, but I mean, it's at least booting a game. That's something, right? Yeah, we're moving. Wow. So it's doing better than I thought. I'm gonna try to fix the casing. I'm gonna open it up and see what's going on inside. So that's a really great start. I can't believe that it actually functioned. The power jack isn't loose or anything. Wow. So it, it does, you know, I will give him credit. It does actually work. So I'm gonna open the case and see if we can fix this weird separation issue. All right, I just got inside. It looks like there's a screw missing. Did someone like drilled through? Like they drilled out of screws, so that kind of sucks and they damaged the case a little bit and the, they actually drilled through this little board right there, but thankfully there wasn't any traces. But um, either way, the I think the case is just warped a little bit. I don't, I don't know how that would have happened, but um, yeah, I mean, there's nothing protruding here. It's just, it just sticks up for some reason. So it is what it is. Um, it's just not going to be in the greatest shape. If you replace this back housing, it would definitely, um, it would definitely fix the issue. But, um, either way, um, I'm going to be selling this console off. So it's for someone else to decide. Um, I'll just have to show it obviously, but yeah, fantastic pickups, especially the Nomad. I mean, yeah, it's not the greatest condition, but it's, it, it was a hundred dollars and it did actually work. So um, I'll give him credit. It did work. So, um, yeah. And the 3DS lot was great, too. I'm not going to discount that. But this stuff is just so much harder to find. That's just so much more exciting. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, thanks so much for watching, guys. Um, have a great rest of your day and happy hunting. Bye.